let's talk about the LEGO UCS Venator. Leaks of the new LEGO UCS Venator have just been revealed and it's left fans with mixed feelings. So for those of you who don't know, the Venator is a ship from Star Wars. That's really all I can tell you, because I'm not the massive Star Wars fan. And for those who do know, well, you can tell me in the comments. Oh man, this, this is a ship that did the thing that carried the guy, who hit, yeah, blah, 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 whatever, okay? I get it. Okay, so this new set is expensive. I'm talking 650 USD expensive. Yeah, it's a lot. And so naturally, it's going to be a big set, which is great, right? The larger it is, the more detail you can have. But like, these are my shelves behind me. This thing's going to be huge. It would probably take up a whole shelf by itself. I mean, so it's great that it's big, but like, where are you meant to display this? And also, for such a big set, it comes with two minifigures. What? The first minifigure is young General Eulerin. Now, this guy is way too easy to make a custom of to be paying 654. And the other minifigure? Well, the other minifigure is the most coveted LEGO Star Wars minifigure in existence. Okay, not Cloud City Boa Fett, but still. You have to pay 70 to 200 bucks to get this minifigure? Huh? So either you pay 200 bucks and get one minifigure, or you pay 650 and get two. Not really great options. So, let's compare 2013 Rex to 2023 Rex. 2013 has a physical karma. He also has a pouch that is accurate to the size of his character. Whereas the 2023 version has arm printing and the ability to attach a rangefinder. Okay. So basically all this new version of Rex has going for him is that he has arm printing. And he's Rex. Meaning that everyone who can will be buying him. His camera is printed onto his legs, which looks pretty bad. I mean, for a $650 set, you'd think Lego might be able to actually splash out and give him a physical waist piece. Especially when you consider that themes like Marvel and Lego's new theme Dreams are still using physical waist cape pieces. And so even though this new version has the ability to attach a rangefinder to his helmet, unlike the 2013 version, Everyone is annoyed because the helmet has two holes when he only really needs one. This set isn't really the UCS Venator. It's more like the UCS Rex, given that this is only one of two sets that comes with custom helmet Rex, and so that's basically the only reason anyone will buy this set. So, will I be getting this set? Depends. I'll have to find the shelf space and the money, but if so, then probably. Because I know I was hating on the new Rex a bit, but like, come on, who doesn't want a Captain Rex in their LEGO collection? Everyone who's really complaining about this new version probably already has a Rex in their collection and are just looking for a reason to not have to spend 650 to buy the new one. So, uh, I think this video covered everything about this new set. I mean, I talked about Rex, and Rex, and Rex. Oh, and Rex. So, $650 is kind of expensive for two minifigures. I know this is a UCS set, and they're more for display than play, but I really hope we can get a cheaper set with Rex in it so that everyone who can't get this set finally can get away to get Rex. So guys, let me know in the comments if you're planning or hoping to get this set, and I'll see you in the next one. Pieces. Serb!